I know it's alright, you're one of a kind, I'll leave you behind And all through the night, when we're running blind, I got love on my mind Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And today I do have a couple of special guests with me. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what I'm liking and maybe not liking and see who my two special guests are, keep on watching. Okay, so I know it's been a while since I've gotten to do one of these videos, my what I'm liking and not so much. And I hope everybody had a wonderful New Year's celebration. Uh, I'm recording this today actually on New Year's Day. All right, the two people that I have with me today as a special guest is Natalie the Beauty Diva and Susie QB. She used to be a glitzy granny at one point. So a um, majority of you guys I'm sure know both of the, the two beauties. If not, you need to go and check out both of them. I will put their links down below so you can go ahead and maybe show them some love, subscribe if you like, give them a thumbs up and everything. Um, Natalie the Beauty of Diva I have known for a very, very, very long time. Actually, when she first even started her channel. I can remember exactly uh, when she first started her channel. Susie Clancy all introduced us to her and I've been subscribed to her ever since and she's been subscribed to me and yeah we just I've pretty much seen every single video that she's ever done and same for her with me like we just we've always you know kept in contact and everything so I really enjoyed Natalie the beauty diva. I love watching her uh, diva moments like where she'll show some old classic pictures that maybe her mom had in her you know the little scrapbook and everything I I just really enjoy watching her and she's very knowledgeable in her products and I've learned quite a bit from her myself so really love her so yeah I will have a link down below to her channel as well as Susie QB oh my goodness I love her too she is just a wonderful person uh, very down to earth and just she'll sit on her porch and have her uh, porch setting uh, Sundays and tell you a little bit of a story and then kind of leave you on a cliffhanger kind of thing until the next Sunday to, to finish off the story. So uh, I just I've really been enjoying watching her. I've probably Mm. I've probably been a couple years since I've been with Susie as well and same for her with me so if you would go check out her channel too like I said I'll have all the links down below so let's get started into so we don't keep that I don't have this a really long video so one of the first products I'm really liking and I actually shared it in my uh, last video my haul video is the soap and glory face soap and clarity three-in-one daily detox vitamin C facial wash. Like I said, that's that's a lot. That's a long, and this has been a great cleanser. I've actually heard this from um, Anna Marie. She had talked about how she loved it, and I, I use it every single day, whether I use it during the daytime or nighttime, but I at least use it every day. Uh, then a company reached out to me. I've lately been getting a lot of skincare products that's um, companies have been reaching out to me which that's fine by me because you know I'm 49 now I'm going to be 50 this year so I you know want to venture out into a lot of the skincare products so this one here is uh Zo Skin Health by Zen Abaj Abaji I think that's how you say I'm not even sure if you'll really be able to see that but this is what the packaging looks like this one here is the nourishing hand cream anti-aging formula Oh my goodness, I have been using, I've been using these products for a while now, but I, I still want to work through them a little bit more to kind of give you um, a review. So an upcoming review will be coming, will be coming up because uh, I have several other products from the company, but oh my goodness, this hand cream smells so nice. If you like a citrus scent, that's what it kind of smells like to me. Like there's a little bit of a citrus scent to it and it honestly... When I put this uh, moisturizer on, the one thing I've noticed, and I'm somebody constantly with my hands in the water, I've noticed that it 
keeps my hands still moisturized. It doesn't dry out as fast. And that surprised me because like there's other products that I've used that are more higher end uh, that still dry out my hands, even though, you know, I have them on. These, it feels like silk. Because then this other thing, I've used this several times already and I fell in love. And this is uh, exfoliating polish, effects exfoliating polish from a Baji. The packaging is really nice. Oh my goodness. This smells like, oh, like so, so fresh. It looks like this here, but it's, you really can feel the granules in there. Really feel them. You can really feel it polishing your skin and everything. And the scent smells so fresh. So like ocean fresh. I don't know. It just, it smells amazing. Spa like, you know, like, like you are in a spa. It smells wonderful. Uh, my family's watching football, by the way. So if you hear some screaming, yeah, they're watching some football down there. So be prepared. You might hear some of that. Like I said, I'll have a review and we'll talk more about all the products that they sent me. Okay, so the next product is another skincare product before I get into the makeup. I almost forgot. Okay, this is something I am not liking. And there's many reasons why I don't like it. Okay, and it's from the company. And this was sent to me, actually. And it was from the company Larive 24K Luxury Skincare 60 Second Instant Face Lift Serum. Another one of those ones that, you know, really is a long thing. But the company had sent me this product. And I was doing a review and everything and kind of getting a feel of it. And I was writing up a blog and I had a video. The product for this that um, was given to us, a lot of us bloggers and stuff, the price was $29.95, which I thought, mm, that's a steep thing for a product that's only one and a half ounces. And it's not something like over time from what I understood. Anyway, from what I understood, it's not a product that over time it's going to help your skin and like do any more benefits. It's just like a temporary thing. Like if you ever heard of Peter Thomas Roth, he has Firmex or something like that. I forget the name of the product. It's only a temporary thing where you can give yourself a, a little lift. Like you look like you got a facelift, but like once you wash it off and everything, it's, you know, so that's what this is. And I know his is a pretty steep price too. So I was waiting to be approved for my blog and everything. And I wasn't hearing from them. And it almost took a whole month before I even heard back from them. And the only reason why I feel like I heard back from them is because I'm like, I was like, Hey, I wrote a blog, you know, I haven't heard anything. And I don't know if you guys got my blog and my video and then all this other stuff. And here, um, the links that they gave me to give to you guys wasn't working. And I was like, you know, some reason the links aren't even working out. So they were like, well, what links are you using? And I gave them to them and they're like, here, use these links. When I clicked on the link, the next link that they sent me, um, it showed this product, but then it showed it for $195. And I thought, wait a minute, that's like a huge steep from $29.95 to $195. And the more I looked into about this brand, I've seen other people mention about it too gimmicky you know like it's a gimmicky thing um kind of a rip off i personally and i don't really like always giving a bad review but i was so left with like this was one of my very first experiences especially where you probably hear my cat meow this is one of my first experiences really to feel like very negative about a situation that i had I wouldn't recommend this. I've seen some results, some, um, as in like the 60 second, I, I seen a difference, but not enough to pay $30 and definitely not enough to pay close to $200 for the product and for all the more you get. So this is just a no for me and I wouldn't even recommend it to anybody. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into makeup. So one of the foundations I've been using a good bit that I really like to use right about now, and it has become a favorite foundation for me. It's the uh, Bourjois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix, Healthy Glow, Flawless Complexion. <laughs> a lot of products that have like a lot of words in them. Um, I really love this foundation. I come to find out that Bourjois is actually with Chanel, like 
uh, Chanel does do bourgeois. I actually found that out from the beauty diva, as a matter of fact, Natalie. This is a really nice foundation for somebody that has dry skin, likes the healthy look, luminous look, or something like that. My shade actually, and I'm fair complected, I believe mine's in vanilla. Okay, and the next item is my Pixi, uh, what is this? The Brightening Peach Corrector. I love this stuff. It is affordable um, with that, you know, peach tone color that helps uh, cover up the darkness or anything. Like if you have um, any uh, darkness or blueness or anything under your eyes, it helps to cover that, a peach color. What I actually do with it, because I don't always fully have dark circles, but you know how you get the darkness in through here in between like by your eyes. Sometimes you can have like a dark overcast or dark darkness there. So I'll take a little bit of it and pat it like all in through here to help brighten it more. So my eyes look more open and more awake and more brighter and everything. So that's what I've been using that for. Okay, a product that I feel like I can say is a not so much I'm not really liking and it's... <laughs> Sadly, these are products that were sent to me, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. So, but this was a product that was sent to me through CoverGirl. Uh, I'm in the in the CoverGirl Insider. And it is that CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro. It's their new one. I'm just not a fan of it because, for one, I have had several times like where this is what the brush looks like. I mean, like I was saying before, it looks like a weapon. It, a couple of times I've like poked my eyes and I try to be as careful as possible, but sometimes, you know, like it's very, you know, very tedious with this brush. And the other th thing I noticed is it is a wet formula. It can get very messy, very messy. So I'm finding I'm working too hard with it. And it's just not giving me, I, I like more volume and length. I like the both factor, like length and volume, but I do like my volume a lot more since I'll continue using it to use it up and everything and kind of work with it in with another mascara. But yeah, I wouldn't purchase this. So I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really liking it too much. So these products here that were sent to me from the body shop, I'm really liking. I got to try some more of their makeup and I've actually used this palette twice now. Down to Earth, uh, number it's number one. They go by numbers. And honestly, the pigmentation, I mean, I haven't had any problems with blending. It stayed for a good while. I really liked it. And I also liked this pen. They're one of their uh, eyeshadow pens. I sometimes use them just alone by themselves. Or I also use them as a base and then put an eyeshadow on top of it. So it's like a gold shade. It's um, not real noticeable. Kind of why I felt more for this would be better for a base. Or you could put it in the inner tear duct to open the eyes and brighten the eyes a little bit. So what I was doing is putting that down first. And then I would take um, this gold shade right here which is so beautiful. It's a shimmer shade. So I was topping it on top of that and it really worked really nice on the eyelids. And then the other shades, these two are more of a matte shade, which as you can see, the pigmentation is right there. It's pretty, these two. <laughs> hey, and this one here, I haven't really gotten to use yet, the taupey shade, but the pigmentation is really nice. Probably the one you won't see you can see a little bit in the middle but it's kind of like my skin tone but there it is the other three shades so those are working really great for me from the body shop but one of the items in that uh, set that they sent me was a lipstick and it's the Honolulu pink it's like a matte pink and it's not so much the scent because like I said the scent t smells just like plain old lipstick scent that we, we've all come to know. Um, it's not that, it's just the way it goes on. It skips along, like it doesn't give a full pigmentation. 
it's it doesn't give a full pigmentation I don't feel kind of disappointing because the color is beautiful but I'm not liking it so much I'll probably work with it with other things I'm just yeah I'm not really liking it so I probably wouldn't get any more of their lipsticks another eye product and I have them on my eyes today um, I'm not sure how well you'll see but I have the colors on my eyes today is my peach palette and I was so happy to get it finally 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 <laughs> and y'all seen the colors in here I just love this palette I'm gonna do a couple face products here and then we will be done so uh, Milani I do love Milani blushes this one's in Berry Amour and I just love wearing this shade especially around now like when it's colder and you know it's fall and winter it's such a pretty shade so pretty I love that shade so that's kind of what I've been wearing a lot lately and I know I've showed this several times in my what I'm liking and not so much but I gotta tell you guys I think this is probably one of my favorite highlights I don't know if I could say it's the favorite highlight but it is one of my favorite highlights and it's the Laura Mercier this one's in indiscretion it's the face illuminator and it's these ones here that she has that has that she had like a set where you had like a set of four I kind of wish I would have gotten that but they were like little minis but there it is there do you see that see that shine that it gives off that luminous I think what it is that I really love about that is it looks so natural you know how some highlighters you put on and it doesn't really look now it doesn't really look too natural I think you might know what I mean by that but and I love my highlighters even if it doesn't look natural or not like I love so many different highlighters but I think what it is with that one is it just goes with your it just melts into your skin and just it looks natural I'm definitely gonna pick up the other color I can't think of the name of it it's a little bit more lighter color this one's more of a champagne rose gold champagne color but the other one's a little more lighter and I definitely want to get that and the last product I'm going to talk about is the hard candy and this is the candle lit set they have another one that's a little more darker and you get like two um, highlighters illuminating powder duo it brightens the complexion with soft focus pearls to blur imperfections and light up your face I've said it before and I'll still say it again I don't have the um, hourglass powders or anything like that but if I had to pick a drugstore um, closeness I'm gonna say I would go with hard candy this one here because I mean like there's not much to them that you're really gonna see I put them on those two fingers you can kind of see you see the glowiness and and I just put that all over on my face I actually put my brush in and dip in both of those and then go all along on my face and it's not something like where it's like I look like some kind of glowing disco ball it just gives a nice um, glow and healthy look again to the face and it does blur my pores like the imperfections or pores or whatever I put this on top at the very end sort of like how you would do with, do with the hourglass uh, ambient powders that's what they're called so if you're looking for those and you really can't afford them or you like the idea and you have liked the idea I would say try the hard candy there is another one that has more darker shades this is candle lit all right beauties anyways thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate that if you did come from Natalie's or uh, Susie's um, channel welcome I hope you stick around and stay with me and if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button down below you can join me each week please do not forget to go ahead and check out Natalie and Susie's video and show them some love and maybe subscribe and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care I will see you then love you guys Mwah. bye